Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days of automation and testing guys. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the web driver weight in Selenium. And this is going to be ultimate guide means lots of people have asked me about this. How to use web driver weight and what are the different type of uh, basically type of explicit weight that we should use in our automation script. This is the example. This is exactly the way and uh, I'm going to show you with a demo. So make sure you stick to the end and uh, let's learn web driver weight with Selenium, right? All right, so let's get started. Yeah. So uh, before moving on, just wanted to let you know that guys, uh, so this is the day 30 of the automation, uh, 30 days of automation testing guide where we have learned about the Selenium concept, lots of Selenium concept. I will recommend you to watch the previous videos of automation testing and 30 days of what basically 30 days of automation in testing, right? And uh, where I have basically created lots of video around the automation definitely and will help you in your software testing career, right? So let's get, let's learn about the web driver page. So why it is important and uh, what is required, what are the, uh, and how to use it properly, right? So uh, what is web driver weight? It's basically a, uh, it is applied to a particular element with a defined expected condition, right? Uh, suppose I, ha I, I have a particular element and it is not visible as of now. I have uh, basically I have used driver dot get and the element is still coming or probably uh, it's just loading and all, right? What I want is that I want certain expected condition to it, right? If it is visible, then wait till it is visible, right? That's where the web driver weight comes in, right? It's a type of explicit weight which basically applied on a particular certain element to wait for a particular condition and what are these conditions we're going to learn uh right wait for it so explicit weight is a code uh basically you define to wait for a particular element or a condition right before proceeding further right so it, these are just a weights if you haven't watched if you don't know what is weights in selenium i will recommend you to watch my video that contains an immense value right and if it is not able to find the element uh, uh, in a particular time frame or a weight that you have given, it will throw an assumption, right? So uh, if we talk about the types of, ex uh, we talk about especially the type of explicit weight, right? There are uh, two ones, basically web driver weight and a fluent weight. Fluent weight I have explained in the weights in Selenium part. And here in this video, we are only, only talk about the web driver weight. And web driver weight basically wait for an element and it uses a condition. So what is this condition? And these are all of them are the conditions. These are expected condition. If they met, then if they met within the time frame that is given, everything works fine. If they fail, we have a exception. Make sense? Right. So uh, the most use uh, means I'm telling with my experience, I have more than eight years of experience. Uh, most of the time, you will be using the web driver weight in your code. And this is the exactly the code that we are discussing. Where you will mention the web driver weight, you will create an instance of it. You will mention the time period. For example, I want to wait for 10 seconds till this expectation is met, which is web driver dot until expected condition visibility of a particular element. And here you need to basically mention the element ID element locator, right? So what I'm doing uh, is that basically this is uh, this is just an example. I'm going to show you in a practical way. So what I'm doing is that I am waiting till 10 seconds. This if this element is visible or not, right? If it is visible within the 10 second, everything works fine. If it is not, I'll throw an exception in that, right? And these are important weight. You should you be using only the web driver weight or fluent weight in your code. Don't use implicit or thread dot sleep. The those are very much a bad practice. Okay. So what are the conditions of weight? So weight can be already present. Uh, in the previous video of 30 days of automation testing, we have dealt with alerts, right? Suppose I want, suppose my alert is coming after two seconds. There's a delay in alert, right? So what I can do is that until my alert is present, I want to wait for a three second or 10 seconds. Right. So what I can do is that I can add web driver wait until expected condition dot alert is present. So if the alert is present till 10 seconds works fine. If it is beyond that exception. Element except selectable state to be clicked. Uh, it's selected frame to be available. Invisibility of element. These are again the condition. Right. Most of the time you will be using presence of 
element to be uh, clickable visibility of element most of the time you will be using these things uh, trust me these are three three ones are most important one and we have means i have uh, we have right now you have a huge automation framework and uh, visibility of an element presents and displayed element to be selectable or clickable only four or five are used everywhere if you see everywhere most of the time right and uh, right now we have switched to fluent weight which is more efficient i think but uh, web driver weight again works the same way uh, not the same way i mean to say uh, right now it's working for us it and we don't want to switch to fluent weight as of now uh, demo time right uh, so this is the code that we have already done to handle the pop up right uh, what i have done is that i have added a web driver weight and duration of a second this is a new new structure of it if you see a cutting error here it means you need to use new one is basically web driver weight instance of a web driver weight new web driver weight you need to pass the ins uh, instance of a driver and uh, in durations you can add 10 seconds so duration 10 seconds and i am checking the condition which is expected condition is alert is present until alert is present right so let me show you uh, what is it so this is the demo we click on it it immediately comes right suppose there's a delay or not uh, then I am basically handling for this one, right? So let's see. Let me show you the demo. So this is the code that we have already written in the previous video. I have added a uh, basically alert a alert is present condition in that case, right? So let's run the alert pop up uh, so that we uh, it will run and we have basically uh web driver weight working for us right so everything works fine yeah uh, so our test case is pa passing as well as our uh, web driver weight is wo working because alert is present after clicking that element right so that's how you can do it uh you can basically change the expected condition according to the uh your requirement right and uh, thanks a lot for watching that is all about it about the web driver this is was a short demo but uh, trust me, web driver wait most of the time you will be using it. Important one, very important concept, and how to use it with a practical exam properly. Right? Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.